Hello friends, it is another summer day, it is another questionable bang day. <clears throat> I'm getting these little flippy doot things I get in the summer, it's just part and parcel of life. Flippy bangs and swollen feet and ankles. Anyway, speaking of which, today I'm here to talk about dressing for the hot weather. And I'm going to say that number one, first and foremost, is to pay attention to the fabrics you're wearing. Second would be the construction of the items that you're wearing. Number one, natural fibers, linen, cotton, even rayon slash viscose. I'm not exactly sure. They sort of seem to be the same thing. There might be a difference in the way they're produced, but I, the end result is I feel like they're essentially the same thing. So natural fibers, not polyester. Try to avoid like spandex or nylon or any of those man-made things because they're just not going to breathe. You're going to put them on. They're going to trap all your body heat inside. You're going to sweat. Second is garment construction. Now dress like this, and I know those of you who've been following me for a while are, are going to be like, oh my god, that dress again? Yes, this is the Juna Rose dress. It is 100%. It says viscose. I don't really know the difference, like I said, between this and a ran but it's very, very light. It's a woven, that's, that's part B of the uh, fabric issue, is there's cotton and then there's cotton jersey and woven cotton. You want a woven in the summer. That's the one that's more like old school button down blouses that has a weave that if you hold it up really close, you can like, you know, it's a crisscross weave that has little air flow capabilities to it just because of the way that it's constructed as opposed to a jersey knit which is something that's a stretchy thing it's a much tighter weave those sort of stretchy it might be a cotton jersey or a rayon jersey it usually has a little bit of spandex in it even if it's a hundred percent cotton if it's that stretchy business it's very tightly woven and it's going to trap the air in close to your body much more so than a woven where the air can sort of flow through. This particular dress is like the best summer dress ever. It is, like I said, 100% viscose. Uh, it is a woven. It's so light. I don't know if you can really get the sensation of how like light and floaty the fabric is. If it was white, it might be impossible to wear because it's actually a little bit sheer but because of the sort of busy print all over you don't see that i mean i've seen pictures of me standing on the beach with the sun behind me and yes at that point you can sort of see like the separation of my legs through the dress but who cares it's hot i i don't care if you see the separation of my legs you know they're you know they're not attached at the knee <laughs> what's what's the big you know deal anyway Perfect dress, fabric-wise, construction-wise, because it's very loose. Even though it has a waist seam, it's sort of a loose ampere, high waist. Even the sleeves, um, they're sort of they're short, but they're angelly. And if you you know, if I go to the side, yes, you can see up them, but I have to really go like that. Where some sleeveless garments, I can just be sitting like this, and you can see the side of my bra. So this is nice because it's flowy. It lets air in. It just woo. It's very nice and easy. This is my choice number one for summer wear. And now we will move on to item number. And item number two, I forgot to mention this fabric in the beginning, but Tencel, also known as oh, YSL. I think that's the actual name. Tencel is a brand name. It's another man-made, I think it's made out of bamboo. I could have this wrong. It would be nice if I had made notes for myself. Anyway, this is another very lightweight, breathable. It's a little more dense than like a woven cotton. Um, so I don't know why it's as breathable, but they say it is, and I have several garments in this, and I feel like it is. So this is another um, dress that it's just very loose and flowy. It's not, you know, anything that's like tight at the waist it's gonna prevent any airflow from here down or there up. This is one of those that has the big deep armholes that they always give to 
plus size women thinking because our hips are big then our arms must be like this anyway so this is item number two this is an old old navy dress also known as the nightgown dress because it sort of looks like a nightgown um but again this is just very you can see how it's floaty and loose and easy lots of airflow airflow is very good um i've also changed this time oh i forgot to mention the first bit that my sneakers were canvas if you have to wear a closed closed shoe like I do for work I'm not supposed to have toes or heels open exposed whatever the language is I forget um, so I do a canvas sneaker many days when I'm not at work and I can open I like to have my foot as exposed as possible so these are just a pair of slides they're not you know they're they're new buck they're leather they're a million years old they're like 20 years old um, so they look like crap but they're great for just wearing around, like running errands, going to the deli, sitting at the beach in the afternoon, going to dinner with friends at some pla outdoor place uh, in the evening. Anyway, this is item number two, a tinsel dress. Again, be conscious of the flowiness. Even if you're wearing a woven and a woven airy material and you're tucking it in, like you're tucking a top into shorts or into a skirt, you're obstructing that flowiness. Now I realize style-wise people are going to want to tuck in. I'm just letting you know <laughs> this is cooler than a tuck-in. If you're wearing a pant, I think a blouse out over the bottom pantry skirt is cooler than something tucked in. But okay, I'm also going to make note that I'm wearing minimal makeup. I am a sweater. I'm a face and head sweater not like an underarm sweater which it's so funny how people are one of those or the other anyway the only thing i have on you know little eyeliner a little mascara lipstick those are on my skin the only thing i have on my skin is a couple dots of concealer because i've gotten bad mask knee and so there's lots of red things on my face that are not generally nice to look at so anyway this is item number two on to number three my counting I'm so good with my counting today okay <laughs> and number three ignore the fact that like my pants don't fit at all <laughs> I've been on the search for a new pair of linen pants my old wonderful pair of many many years finally split through in the inseam here and un unfixable they're just the fabric was so thin you couldn't even sew anywhere near it it was just coming apart anyway so the third great and first time to say this if you can get your hair up off your neck and away from your face i know it's not the loveliest look going but there's nothing like getting your hair up off your face um, neat and perfect uh and sometimes i will clip my bangs off my face that's not the loveliest look i don't usually do that unless i'm at home alone anyway Getting your hair off your face is a good one. You'll see me keep pulling my pants up because they're too large. I bought them last spring, not this, you know, spring of 2019, when I was much larger through here. So I had to get a 4X, and now I'm smaller through here, and they're falling off, and especially linen, it doesn't, like, stay shrunk. I mean, now I'm running them through hot water, wash cycle, and in the dryer, and they shrink the teensiest bit, when I first put them on, they feel a little snugger, but as soon as I start walking around, they sort of, because again, they're such an open weave, I think they're very, I um, can't think of the word, they stretch back out, back out very easily. Anyway, linen is a wonderful thing. I'm also looking for a wonderful, like, a shorter, boxier linen top. Um, I see these things all over, especially like some of the sustainable Clothing sites have them, but sizing and pricing have been a barrier to me. So <laughs> this is this is sort of the best I can do right now with linen. It's just a white linen blouse. Um, it's from J. Jill last year. This is also 4X because I wanted it really oversized. So again, linen is a very breathable fabric. Um, also pants, 
if you have something that's a wider leg and a looser, uh, not a looser, but a shorter cut, more of a cropped length, like a little above the ankle, wider leg, you'll get more airflow through. And that's just, ugh, nothing feels better except for the June Rose dress. Like in the evening on a hot day to go join my friends at the beach with wide legged baggy linen, loose, airy pants on. So, and again, I'm back with these slides. So we've covered fabric, natural fibers, construction. Looser, the better. Let the air flow around as much as you can. Another one I didn't mention was layering. Like a lot of times people wear, you know, a cami or a t-shirt with a large linen or something blouse over it. To me, any form of layering is, um, you know, in the winter you layer to stay warm. So it only makes sense that in the summer, if you layer, you're going to stay warm. Because the, the layers of fabric, I guess, block the heat, your own body heat in more so than no layers. So try to avoid layering when you can. Hair up and off your neck if you can. The less makeup, the better. Really, do I look as good without makeup as I do with, the, with makeup? No. Who, who am I trying to impress? Nobody. I, I'm more concerned with my personal comfort than how I look <laughs> to you. Nothing personal, but um, yeah. So those are my how-to hot weather tips. And if you have any more you'd like to share, please add them in the comments below. And I will see you again in a couple weeks. Bye.